What's going on guys, Big Temo 110 here. And today, we're gonna be talking about the Pixel Experience 11. That's right, Android 11 version of this ROM. Now, keep in mind that it's still in beta, but even in beta guys, this already feels like a solid ROM that's worthy of daily driver material. Now, let's get into the ROM launch. Okay, so double tap to wake works real great. The only one thing that I gotta let you guys know is that the fingerprint right there, yeah, it's a little dark, you can't see it. It has a subtle color, which is cool. I like it, but it works real great. Now, we all know that this is based on the Pixel, so we know we're gonna have the Google Now feed on the left side, and double tap to sleep on the home screen. It's not gonna work unless you install your own custom launcher. Yes, you know, Pixel Launcher doesn't have that feature, but not a biggie. Okay, moving on to display here. We have the usual dark themed styles and wallpaper. You know, here we have some presets. You can see the different type of icons and colors. You know, nothing really spectacular that stands out, but at least we have some options here. Okay, let's go back to the settings here. Uh, as you can see, we do have colors. We have three options, which is natural, boosted, and adaptive. So choose whatever you like. Other options here include the screen refresh rate, which you can see we have 90 hertz and 60 hertz. So choose whatever you like. But um, if you want to save some battery, you already know what to do. And talking about display, guys, here the display does not disappoint. As you can see, we have a solid 90 frames per second, 90 hertz. That it's just beautiful. Okay, moving on to the camera, guys. Here, you guys can install the Google Cam or the G Cam, and they work really great. You already know how I feel about that. If you want a good camera, G Cam or even the Google Cam will do. And as you can see, it's using all three lenses without magic. I didn't have magic installed this time, and everything seems to work except for Google Pay. All right, let's continue with this network and internet here. We do have a mobile network and we do have Wi-Fi calling. The only thing is you're gonna have to go into the settings and turn it on yourself. As you can see, I'm gonna turn it on. Bam, there it is. Now, if we go back, you can see that voice over LT, it's already checked on and you cannot turn it off, but I don't know if that's good or bad, but I guess it's good. Okay, so if you go to sound, there's nothing really special here, but I was hoping to see at least a vibrator strength option so you could lower and adjust the settings, but no, nothing. Moving on to security guys here, we can see that it shows that the Google Play system update is out of date. It says September 1. Even if we check for an update, it doesn't really do anything. You know, let's check it again. But it's not a biggie, at least for me it's not. All right, so here we have screen lock, fingerprint, smart lock, but no face unlock. So if you were hoping for face unlock, then you're out of luck. Moving on to system guys, here we have a couple of options here like gestures. We do have system navigation, but sadly we only have two options. So if you were hoping for more than that, then it's not here guys. But at least you can adjust some of the settings for the right and the left edge. Here we also have the power menu options. Here you can see we have sensitive content, you can turn on and off, and you also get other options. And as you can see, we are rocking the latest Android 11 with the November 5th security patch, which I know it's a little outdated, but come on, let's give it a chance, still in beta, and it's not that bad guys. You will get at least five and a half to six hours depending on your settings and your refresh rate, which is not too bad. One of the things I like about this ROM is that even without Magisk, a lot of the apps that will look for root will still work. I know Google Pay is different, you know, but any other app that will look for root and not work are working for me. Banking apps, as you can see, Pokemon Go, working real great. So that's a plus. Now, here are some of the tiles that we get. We are already used to seeing all these, but we do get the new screen recorder and the nearby share, which those are a must, guys.
now guys if you guys want me to use a different benchmarking tool just let me know in the comments and i'll implement it in my future roms the only reason i use this one is because it gives me some numbers that i can compare with other roms and it also gives me tests on what we kind of use every day you know like streaming youtube you know web and everything And there you have the results guys so you compare the two now guys would i recommend this rom to you guys even in its beta form absolutely everything seems to work fine everything was good for me performance you know battery everything was great i had no issues whatsoever that could distract you from the experience and uh guys thank you for the likes thank you for the subscribers if you haven't subscribed please do so and uh guys i'll see you guys in the next video bye